the Celtics ultimate outcome, desired outcome here is to be done with Ime Udoka, possibly resulting in some sort of um, resignation settlement, which, you know, kind of, uh, you know, absolves both sides um, from uh, any sort of legal action down the side, uh, down the road. And that's that you go on your way. We go on ours. Here's some money. Let's call it a day. This is we're, we're done. They're done. This is over, uh, which is insane. So you have multiple things. What did he may do? Does it rise to the level of, of uh, and merit this level of reaction and punishment? It's hard to say because you don't have full details. And I don't know whether we'll get them fully or they'll be piecemeal together over time. But the other thing is the very real thing. that Emi Odoka is probably never coaching the Boston Celtics again. Which yeah. Is, so that's the real world, reality. The and real an ominous world start. And yep. I'm going to start to a week where we've already talked about Robert Williams. If we're going to go over this basketball side and Danilo Gallinari's ACL tear, could even loop in the Jalen Brown fiasco in July. Just a, I don't know if you'd call it disastrous offseason for the Celtics, but certainly not a good one. And now you have this leadership void atop the team, particularly in the short term. Seems like Joe Mazzulli is going to take over as interim head coach, a coach who only has uh, main red claws, uh, assistant coaching experience, as well as two seasons as a college head coach, uh, was sort of more of a development head coach for this team under Brad Stevens, carried over. Uh, under Udoka's leadership, particularly at the urging of Jason Tatum, who's been very complimentary of him. Uh, but is this coach prepared, uh, qualified even for the big expectations that this team's taken on this year, while also being a voice of the organization at this very challenging moment? They certainly seem to believe in him uh, if they're propelling him to this position. Uh, Chris Mannix, of course, floating around as well. The possibility that an experienced head coach like Frank Vogel could join the bench to help ease this transition as well. I think that would be smart. Uh, but definitely just a rocky moment, days from media day for this team that is going to have to address this in some way. And they should uh, potentially bring in this public here. And, you know, that's sort of the thing we're going to quibble over here, right, is if they did put this out there and make it a public issue, was that the right thing to do? I'm sure we'd be sitting here if we were still guessing from that initial Woj report saying, why haven't the Celtics said anything? So you can't win either way, I guess, there if you're them. You know, we'd be furious, I'd imagine, if we didn't know what was going on. So, so again, but that's the thing is, let, let's yeah. let's weigh it. Let's weigh it. That's what's, and this is the other thing we're going to be talking about. Let's weigh this punishment, which is resulting in flat out, basically essentially termination, but let's just call it the one year, one year suspension. If that's what it is, that's what Sarver got for being a, uh, an absolute dirt bag for the entirety of probably his adult life. And honestly, maybe longer. Um, uh, and just being consequence free. And you have someone like Adam Silver saying, well, yeah, they operate by a different set of rules. I mean, I guess clearly, but this isn't a league thing. It's a team thing. So what is it that he may, how did he may so badly? And again, I look, we're not naive. We're not dumb. Like I I've worked in this business long enough to know there is a ton, a ton of stuff like this that happens all the time that gets swept under the rug by organizations because they don't want their dirt out in the open. Um, and and again, I don't know what this is, and I don't know, you know, how severe. You don't know whether consensual is a real is it something is truly consensual. That's only been reported one place, so it's not fair to weigh this versus everything else. But in terms of inter office infidelities, or guys stepping out, or people doing things, or coaches taking liberties, or players, or X, Y, and Z, um, I mean, give me a break. You know, like this is something that you see and you hear about a ton. If all of Boston media decided to let loose with everything that they've heard from really reliable, credible sources that everybody decided to look the other way on and pretend wasn't a real thing because there's like, ah, oh, whatever, whatever happens behind the scenes is their business. We'd, we'd fill, you know, a week's worth of Boston Globes with different stories and anecdotes. So what is it here that they decided that they want to make it public? They want to, uh, they want and they want to embarrass him or want him want him gone. What is it? What 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 is it? And that's that's why the details that's why the details which shouldn't matter tremendously are what people are going to obsess over because a lot of people are like, why, how, what, what happened? Yeah. So that, that, two that got you guys to get this upset and and want him gone. Um, yeah. So there's there's two schools of thought on that depending on what ultimately happened here. 
you could look at this when it's all said and done and say the Celtics are an upstanding organization with standards that aren't allowing crazy things to happen behind the scenes like the Mavericks reportedly were like you said the Suns all the misconduct that seemed to be going on behind the scenes there if Udoka was in the wrong here and they you know possibly warned him and it continued or they were trying to put an end to this or even if it was just something that came up and like you said zero tolerance and they caught him and it's done here you look at the Celtics and say all right that's a functioning organization if it's something more middling and you know gray area or possibly something that maybe warranted a smaller uh, punishment and you could potentially bounce back from you do question putting this out there if that's what they did right because this is potentially something that could end his coaching career and especially when you get into the dynamic of uh, you know a black head coach who finally has his first opportunity for year after years and years and years here if if this is something a relatively small infraction where all right there's a punishment due here but he should be able to come back from this you do question him being put out to dry like this you wish you heard something directly from the team right because this gets out and it seems like there's still sort of this internal discussion going on uh, possibly a debate about what the right way to handle this is should it be a shorter suspension should it be a year should it be firing does this warrant a firing would a firing hold up legally over a situation like this these are all questions we're going to have to potentially ask here but you do have to question that this is being litigated publicly again anyone in the organization could have put this out to adrian wojnarowski and woj initially did come out without saying what the violation no was. relationship just there's something happening so again yeah. that's the thing and that's why it makes me think that's you know organization side because the if you're getting salacious details from somebody behind the scenes that knows what it is, the first thing that you get is the relationship, not the suspension. You know, yeah. knowing about knowing about how the team is going to react to something is a team is something you get from the organization. Uh, knowing details of an affair um, or interoffice romance is something you could get from the trainer, a ball boy, uh, anybody. That's different. You know, that doesn't. They don't know whether he's going to be suspended or not. That's what makes you think that that information came internally came from the team uh because they had details of major discipline coming for this situation um so why i mean unless it was about to explode and about to get out there in some way or another um why is this out here what is going on like why have they not stepped up they have the information they have enough information to have made a decision by now um, and to have acted what should have come out first is just the action not the leak it makes no sense it makes yeah, no, it makes no sense if it just came out the celtics have suspended would be like or are about to then that report should have been followed by something from the team minutes later i don't understand how we are where uh where we are yeah it, it's startling and again how does it get out to the media ultimately is this something that the team plan i'd imagine not uh, but in a situation like this where there does appear to be a debate over his future internally you might have people who don't like what happened here uh, who think it is a very severe violation of not only uh, team rules but ethics and how things should work internally and you might have some people like i think a lot of our viewers and you know people online are saying what's the big deal here you, you're starting to see what the big deal is here by just what this uh, news being out there has created publicly here. Like you, you really start to understand why a rule like this is in place, particularly for a head coach of a basketball team in sports, in basketball, where, again, you boil down the number of people, people start to get accused on the other side of this, and there's really damaging effects of having done something like this. So. Do I have some sympathy here for Ime? Potentially, depending I don't on know what we whether find I do or here. don't. I don't know yeah. whether I do or don't because another thing you have to wonder, and again, I hate doing this because you have to speculate with lack of details. You only have what's reported on, and then you have to put pieces together as best you as best you do. The Celtics aren't dumb. If this is yeah. out there and they're about to move on here, they have to feel pretty good that it's not going to destroy the team. I, at this point. 
Do you think with confidence they move forward on on this t- on basically moving on from eBay, a player that was essentially handpicked by Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Marcus Smart to come in here and to be the coach after a year in which he was incredibly successful, uh, led the team to the to 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 the NBA Finals? Unless they're down with it, unless not only down with it, unless they were so bothered by what was going on behind the scenes that they themselves wanted it. I can't say for sure. I just don't believe that they would do something. Well, th- that goes back to this is where th- things get swept under the rug. When well, you, you yeah, sweep stuff so- under the rug, when you want to protect what you have mm-hmm. desperately, which is I need to save Ime because I need it for the success of our franchise and um, the players. But we who kill are teams stay. for that. We we huh? kill we kill teams for sweeping things under but the that's rug. That's why people that do it. That's yeah. why they do it. And and you understand it. Mm-hmm. That, that's why they do it. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, uh, but we have a we have a workplace matter here, and we have a basketball matter. And if this organization is able to separate those two things, as difficult as that is, that's kind of how we expect. That's the standard we hold these organizations to. So, there is a I don't want to say like optimistic side to look at this, but this could be Boston system working here. Again, that's giving the benefit of the doubt to the team. I don't think we have enough information to give either you side don't. the benefit of the doubt at this point. Uh, but don't. on the other hand, but silence says a lot, right? Like yeah. they're silence, making a difficult decision here. Yeah. But silence by the team says a lot as mm-hmm. well. Cause right now, if this were not something that people were down with and were not something that the players uh, also supported a decision here, you would have a lot of, head shaking you'd have some vague tweets some quote tweets sub tweets things about like you would just have one of those vague smh you know uh you know from 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 jalen you know which we got during the trade rumors i feel like we'd have something in support of how you're going to do email like this um you don't yet and again i'm sure part of this is the celtics have begged them don't say anything until everything is done but again you have to feel as it could it could be one of it could be one of two things. It either got away from them fast and this is damage control. It was about to blow up. Somebody was about to leak it. They had to do it and didn't have a plan. But the reports are they brought this to the player's attention two, three days ago. So there, this is, it makes you believe it's part of a plan, right? That this was coming uh, and it was being worked on behind the scenes and it was being handled eternally, internally. Is it possible it leaked from outside the organization and that was never the plan? Maybe, but it does feel like they have been ramping up towards this, uh, you know, and, and gathering some sort of internal support. Um, Again, like you said, you don't want to lose your head coach. You don't want to lose a chance at contending for a championship if you're a team here. So if you're going to take that difficult step, we're missing something here, certainly. And, you know, what we already have is severe, I think. You know, like there's a rule in place for this for a reason. And it seems like he stepped outside of that and they're taking a, a severe, uh, you know, repercussion for that here. And again, no one wants to see this. Everyone's looking at this through a basketball lens and really frustrated with what this potentially means for the Celtics here. But at the end of the day, if this is an unsustainable situation and something wrong happened here, you would think they're taking the right step here by possibly moving on. And Hey, listen, we'll see what Missoula is capable of. You wish Will Hardy was still in place as an assistant to step into this role, a very respected assistant who obviously has a head coaching role out, out there in Utah now. Uh, but what, what are you going to do? You have your assistant coach. He has to step up and become an interim. Maybe you pad the bench with uh, guys who are able to help him make that transition, and you still have the talent on the floor to be a championship contender here. This just adds a little more uh, – difficulty to the early stages of training camp and of course media day on monday which is just going to be a fiasco well i mean absolute fiasco and again you know i i liked it a lot better when the celtics were winning the offseason um and uh everything you know since and again let's just go team side with this uh what's going on here we talked about the the threat, the panic level on Rob going down is a eight eight point five um, because of his long term thing. You also have the Gallinari thing, of course. This is a twelve out of ten bad. Yeah, uh, this is a dis. You I know mean, why? Dis- because- the disaster rating here is off the charts. Horrible in terms of stability of the because it's beyond yes. moving on from a coach. You 
had, had a culture change, which was necessary two years ago. Brad Stevens, who by all accounts uh, is an excellent basketball coach, was identified either by himself or the organization is not the right man for this job. The team had tuned out and was tuned out for the majority of last year too, uh, or the first half of last year, and not responding. And finally, you got somebody who came in and made them respond um, and made them play a different brand of basketball. And, you know, I'm not going to say he got them, but together they got to the NBA freaking finals. And now you're starting all over again with an assistant without any uh, head coaching experience going in as the favorites uh, in the Eastern Conference. This has this could be a disaster that could have ripple effects for who knows how long. Um, and that could involve, as you said, the future of Tatum and Brown and all of these things. This is a disaster. There's no other way around it. They're, I mean, you're starting at zero again with this thing where you finally fought, you were finally like, okay, you figured out the coach thing. That's great. You're worried about bench depth, big guy depth. You're starting all over again. Yeah. And so much of the tone improvement and emphases last season stem from Udoka, uh, Tatum and Brown as ball handlers, and some of these were organizational prerogatives as well. But he was the messenger. He was the guy who talked tough. He was the voice of the organization and the media. These are a lot of the roles that a head coach fills and are difficult for effectively a first-time NBA head coach here in Missoula to step into and, and not only address that, but also the organizational controversy on hand here. And of course, Brad Stevens is going to have to, uh, you know, be a voice in this as well. Wick Gross spec and ownership. This is going to have to be a collaborative process for the uh, team to be transparent here and explain to the best of their ability what happened here and what the next steps are for the organization and what they ultimately want to see happen here. We need some answers, certainly, right? Like Monday is going to be a big day for the organization. Uh, well, I mean, you need answers way before Monday, Bobby. I, I don't know. Yep. I don't know what we're doing here. Just yep. do it already. Like, yeah. Where's the statement? Do something. Like now. Think of the doing? speculation that's out there right now. You're, they you're, are just you're... leaving everybody out to dry. Not only Udoka, which could be fair if he did the wrong things here. How about your staff? that is just getting crushed on social media with speculation that careers are being smeared. This is terrible. It's terrible. So do something, do yeah. something, say something immediately, like address, address speculation. We are looking, there is an issue. We are looking at it internally. No formal decision has been made. Something, not, nothing is unbelievable to me right now. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, it's it's unbelievable. And this this isn't Jalen Brown where it's all, oh, do we acknowledge a trade situation? This is a real uh, controversy that needs to have some truth put we on the are, table here. We are, investigate, we are conducting an internal investigation about a matter, yada, yada, yada. We have no further comment at this time. Something, again, I don't know legal ramifications whether they're saying something vague versus not vague. My guess is... Uh, you know, they're really, 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 really worried um, that uh, about action. Oh, I lost Bobby. Um, that's one of the things you have to consider here, whether there's legal action. We talked about the word consensual and whether or not that actually applies um, here and whether or not you can even have a consensual relationship in an inner office, uh, uh, you know, uh, relationship where there's a, a disparity in rank and the power dynamic here. Um, it's obviously a problematic thing. So it's really difficult to figure out what's going on. My guess is everything right now is the silence is based on any fear of ramifications, it rolling back up on them, uh, legal implications and, uh, whatever's going on behind the scenes, which again, everything that I see right now points clearly to the Celtics being done. Done with email, washing their hands with it. They are moving settlement is being worked out behind the scenes. The reason there's nothing being said right now is entirely because of that is that they're figuring out what to do and they're going to do it when it's over. And I believe that I believe that first time we hear from the Celtics is when they send out a statement saying mutually decided to part ways. That's the next we're going to hear from the Celtics. And that's it. Yeah. And, and, that's and, they, and they will not comment on it. They will not. They will not give us clarity on what happened. 
They will say it's an internal matter that will not be discussed, but somebody leaked it. That's so, why we're confounded over the leak, right? Somebody leaked it. So the, they want the public to know what it is, and then they're not going to say anything, and they and Ime are going to part ways in a statement that's going to come out probably soon that – Ime Odoka and the Boston Celtics who decided to mutually part ways, yada, yada, yada. We will have no further comment at this time. And if they're asked about it, they'll say, we can't because of X, Y, and Z. And that's that. And you, we will not get details from the team. And we're going to be stuck with this Sons of Sam Horn and internet Reddit sleuthing that's going on behind the scenes with people trying to piece it together. Uh, who was it? Why was it? What's their relationship to whom? And on and on and on you go. And that's going to be that. So, and Ime, I'm sure part of any settlement is Emi Odoka is not going to get to go public and friggin' have his say and let it out there whether or not he thought something was, um, you know, that that the relation uh, organization overreacted or whatever. You're not going to get details from the team. That's no. what I believe. That's what I believe. The next time we hear from the organization is to announce that they and Eme have parted ways.